We have the opportunity today to meet Iran Ganat, who is the coach of the men's basketball team at the University of Hawaii. Glad you could be with us. Thanks for having me. Happy to on, be here. On a different kind of stage than you usually are. A great stage your, too, your... obviously great weather. <laughs> so I'm happy to, like I said, I'm excited to be here. Tell us a little bit about your, your team this year, your philosophy, and um, why Hawaii is so special for you. Well, I'm excited about our team. I think each year we've gotten better. I think we'll take another step. We have good continuity. We have a lot of guys back. We'll be bigger and stronger. And in the process, we've improved our facilities. So uh, setting up for kind of a, a big breakthrough this year. So I'm really excited about that. I think Hawaii is a special place. You know, I, we talked earlier, I'm from New Jersey and here I am <laughs> feeling very comfortable and at home raising my family in Hawaii. And that speaks to how special it is. I've always said when you can be 5,000 miles away from home and feel like you're at home. So very blessed. Well, and, and I've watched you on TV, you know, and the, the way you work with the kids. You have a natural way of encouraging them. It's not the personality of every coach. So what do you attribute that style of yours? Well, I think it's people you've been around. It's all about your upbringing, the coaches who've had an influence on me, the people you've been able to coach, the people you've been able to work with, and then obviously how I kind of like things. So I think the kids get a lot of pressure and they put a lot on themselves. I don't need to add to that. We kind of have a simple philosophy of truthful and honest, direct, demanding, but not demeaning. Obviously, the whole success of a team is not only kids working together, but doing their individual best and you bring that out in them. Well, I hope, I think that's what we're paid to do, kind of, and mm -hmm. so uh, you got, and that's the best part of putting a team together every year, and every year we have different personalities and different uh, combinations, and look, I love to do what I do because I love to compete, I love being part of a team, and I love the game, and the game changes all the time, too, but your, your ability to get each guy to play at their best within the framework of the team is paramount, so Everything we talk about within our core values has to be reflected on the court. We share the ball offensively, we have each other's <laughs> back defensively, and we have great support for each other on the bench. How much influence do you think youth sports has on a collegiate athlete? I think it's a big hot topic. I know we talked about it earlier now with the, a, lot, a lot of specialization, a lot of hours these kids have put in, and that's a critical, like I say all the time, I don't take our jobs lightly. We get these kids at 18 and 22 years old, which is a critical time in their life. Well, even more important when they're, you know, at the youth level. So, uh, like I said earlier about why I coach, I want to make sure they understand why they play. They can't lose the love for the game. I think to be great at anything, you got to be happy. And to be happy, you got to do what you love, where you love, with people you love. And I want to make sure I have an eight-year-old that she, and I don't, I'm not big on specialization. I want, I think uh, these kids should play everything. And they should learn different sports and different. It attacks different parts of your body and your mind. So, what and sports does your daughter play? She plays everything. I mean, <laughs> she plays basketball. She plays soccer. She's going to be at volleyball camp. I mean, we have all the camps at UH, obviously, and she does a little bit of everything. She does. Uh, she's in into the piano and studying extra Japanese and music class. And I love that. And you got to let them kind of find their way and see what their passion is and chase their. Pa it's their passion, not mine or yours. And that's a really good springboard for the, the question about the role of parents in yep. sports. You know, I was a single mom of a son. I was always um, commented upon how loud I was at the games. Some of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but the loudest is really encouraging kids and, and my own excitement to be out there because I never played team sports. What might you say to parents now that are, are so worried about their children getting into college or being the perfect kid or succeeding in life let them live their lives let them uh, fail and prosper and go through the ups and downs just uh you know i tell our guys i know i shared with you earlier when we talk our family our programs run like a family but there are certain things within the specifics of playing time and on the team i tell our we'll sit with the parents and the and the player and we'll say to the player we coach you we don't coach your parents yeah <laughs> and then to the parents we'll say sit back relax and enjoy the game we have enough coaches i think the kids nowadays they put enough pressure on themselves mm. so when you say i know we talked earlier about being a spirit support i think that's great um, but i i don't want i don't think we should want kids to play with uh while they're active in their sport looking over to see the reactions on the sidelines they should know that that reaction is going to be one of support and applause and uh you know, supporting them throughout. Appreciate your time, Coach, and good luck in the season. Thanks for having me. Thank you, too, for tuning in to Island Focus and listening to my conversation with Coach Iran Ganat of the UH men's basketball team.